Hello friends, this video on classification of elements part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 21. So let's talk about the trends of electronegativity. Electronegativity generally increase across the period from left to right and it is proportional to effective nuclear charge and inversely proportional to size of atom. Correct? So across the period, if you go from here to here, like this, left to right, the effective nuclear charge increase, right? And the protons are added and the size also decreases. And that's why electronegativity increase. On the contrary, if you go down the group, the nuclear charge, effective nuclear charge decrease because of the shielding effect, right? And also size increase. So the electronegativity also decreases. And this trend is similar to ionization enthalpy. We have seen this trend. The similar trend is there for electronegativity. So let's take some questions now. How would you react to the statement that electronegativity of nitrogen balling scale is 3.0 in all nitrogen compound? So I will say the statement is incorrect. Why? Because I told that electronegativity is a variable property. Right? So this is nothing but property of an atom in a molecule to attract shared pair electron. So when you talk about electronegativity, you have to talk about a molecule. For example, electronegativity of nitrogen is NH3, NO2, all are different. Correct? So, you can't talk about electronegativity unless you talk about a particular compound. So, let's recap the trend we have learned. Electron gain enthalpy, if you see this guy, it increases as you go from left to right. Why? Because the size of atom decrease. So, the power of uh, neutron to attract electron increase. Correct. So this part is covered. Similarly, if you go from top to bottom, they increase. Why? Because if you go from top to bottom, again, my size will decrease. Size of atom, let me draw here to be uh, on the safe side. Okay. And if you go down the group, it is something like this. One extra shell like this, right? So if you see, if you are going in this direction, the size of atom decreasing, the, the neutron power is increasing, so it has power to get uh, more extra electron easily. So the electron gain enthalpy is increasing. If you go from here to here, if you see the size is also decreasing here, so electron gain enthalpy also. Okay. This part is done. Ionization enthalpy also almost same as electron gain enthalpy. Because if you go from here to here, more energy is required to pluck one electron. So the ionization enthalpy also increases. Here also if you see, it all same based on the size. Metallic character, non-metallic character if you see, uh, this in this fashion. Why? Because if you go from here to here, the tendency to lose electron decrease because here it has one extra electron can easily lose two extra electron can easily lose but in, if it has seven extra electron here in this case these groups it won't lose so the metallic character is decreasing right the metallic character is decreasing you see the metallic character is increasing in this fashion and the non metallic character is increasing because the tendency to gain electron increase chlorine can gain electron more easily than sodium correct Atomic radius we have just drawn and electronegativity also if you see it follows the same pattern as electron gain enthalpy or ionization enthalpy. So let's talk about some chemical properties as we move from left to right. Thank you.
visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.